Well, I'm Toby. And I'm Savannah. And this is The Grudge, from a certain point of view. So this would be like, I think the third installment, if I'm remembering correctly. No, well, I think the fourth, because they did three did they do... Grudge movies oh. after. So there's Sarah Michelle Gellar one, and then two more. And there was one before. And, well, yeah, and there, but I'm talking about like the American-made ones. Oh, uh, fair enough. All right. So in the whole total, it's the fifth one, most likely, then. Um... The Grudge was just... Yeah, I mean, Grudge 3 was probably terrible. That's why I don't ever remember seeing it. Um, I enjoyed the one with Sarah Michelle Gellar. Um, I just, I like her. It was nothing crazy. It was a lot more horror-like based, more jump scares, more thing. I felt this one was more of a story horror, if that makes any sense. Um, I really felt like... It was just a story, and there was multiple stories going on. This was like a three-layered story. Um, going on nonstop, and it had time jumps, which I was able to follow really well. Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with a movie having time jumps. It's not a bad mm -hmm. thing for a movie to have time jumps. The only thing that was weird to me was that, like you said, it was set in 2004 for some reason, mm -hmm. which yeah. is weird. Well, the the latest it got was 2006, so it wasn't yeah. like a now and day kind of movie, which, I mean, that's just the trend in Hollywood is always keep it fresh, keep it um, within what we know right now in the real world. Which, I mean, there's nothing wrong with setting something back in the day. Like, oh, people no, do, do like, or, 80s movies and 90s nostalgia movies, especially right now. That's a big deal. But I just feel like the 2000s, like, you have to have a point behind it. Setting it in the 2000s and then not having a reason to set it in the 2000s is kind of like, okay, why are we in this time period for some yeah, reason? Yeah, that's true. I'll give you that. Um, maybe there's something with, like, the curse of it or, yeah. I don't know. There's just something maybe we don't know or maybe they wanted it to be very, like, closely related to the Sarah Michelle Gellar one. Maybe. Um, maybe that's what it was, because I think that that's the time frame that movie took place in. Yeah. Um, like Although I don't remember where The Grudge 3 took place, so maybe if The Grudge 2 or 3 took place in America, they had to explain how it got to America. Oh, there you go. Okay. I don't remember that. The, like you, I don't remember the, the, the sequels for The Grudge at all. Because yeah, I just don't either. Just... Um, but this movie I thought was well. The only thing that I really kind of... And I didn't even like dislike it, it just felt out of place to me, was the opening. It felt like a cold open to like a TV show, which is fine, you can do that in a movie, but it didn't have a cold open movie feel to it. Yeah. It felt like I was supposed to really like want to like see these guys, but then it like cut it and I was like, oh, it's just done. They didn't go back to it for a decent amount of time. I think my biggest annoyance with the movie was that it was primarily for horror. It was a jump scare movie, and I, I hate jump scare movies. I think that they're stupid. Mm -hmm. Not this movie. Not saying this movie was. This movie wasn't stupid. Like it had, like you said, it had a very good plot at least. So that's something that set it apart. Was that it at least had an interesting enough story that I wasn't bored, mm -hmm. which is good. Like because a lot of jump scare horror movies, I'm bored. That's my main complaint. I'm not scared. I'm bored. Right. And I just I don't. I'm not the person that scares at horror movies really. I. They don't really get to me. So you either have to have a really good story or the really good, terrifying, like, slow burn type of elements, which I have yet to really find a great one. I think yeah. It did pretty good. The first, yeah, you're just somebody who doesn't really get scared with movies too often. Or... But some of them can really can get me if if they do a good job with the, the anxiety building mm -hmm. and all that. I, just, I didn't really feel that this movie relied on jump scares, which was a nice thing. I think for the horror elements it did. I don't think it relied on it for the story at all. Okay, Because okay. the story didn't rely, it didn't really need, really need to rely on anything like that. That's why the story was so good. Mm -hmm. But the horror elements, it was really mostly just jump scares. Yeah, that's fair. I think the one thing I didn't trust out of this whole movie was the ending. Just That was the best part. Like, yeah. That, like horror-wise, that was yeah, the best part. Yeah, the ending part. to this movie was really, you didn't really, you don't really see it coming. Yeah. And I just, I really enjoyed it. Like, it gave you that false pretense of a happy ending and then in instantly took it away, but then gave you just this scene of serene peace. And it's yeah. just like, well, wait, what? Somebody just got dragged <laughs> down the fucking hallway by these two grudge-like monsters. And then we're just gonna go, ooh, sunny day in middle suburbia. It's fine, it's so it's okay. There's some, some birds chirping, well, and it's okay. Well, and there was okay. no, um, there was no score. It was just, like, yeah, just silence. It was just the, the just sounds heard, of nature, just heard, birds yeah, and birds cars. chirping, and yeah, and that, that, see, that is good. That, to me, is good horror. I wish more of the movie, mm -hmm. movie's horror elements had been like that. Because that's good horror to me, is that creepy, like, anxiety, like, okay, why is it quiet? Why is there yeah, no score? I was just waiting for What's her to happening? fly out the window, the house is to explode, anything. Like, and just yeah, it's, nothing. See, happens. it's almost better if you wait for a jump scare to come and it doesn't come. That's mm -hmm. almost scarier. Yeah. Then. I remember I was just sitting in the theater going, I don't know. I, I don't <laughs> trust this. Um, but oh, yeah. So but that, I, I love that ending. Um, 
I think that was, yeah, that was the scariest I thought to me even though the characters weren't, they were relatable, even if you didn't really care for them, um, the acting wasn't the amazing. And this won't win, like, best horror movie of the year at all. No. Um, it's just, you know, the first movie we saw in 2020, uh, first week. But, I mean, I felt like the characters, the, the, the mainer characters were more relatable. Um, you could feel what, not really feel what they were feeling, but you could understand what they were going through. Yeah, just overall, it, uh, it's, it was a decent way to start off the year. Um, it's always interesting to see what the first movie you're going to see of the year is. This year was a horror movie. Um, last year, I'm pretty sure it was like an action movie we saw. I can't really remember what we saw first, but pretty sure it was an action movie. So, you know, start the year off with horror and... Um, I guess we'll be getting into horror again pretty quick with Antlers coming soon. Yay! Yeah, I, hey, that next trailer you kind of intrigued you a little bit. But we're digressing, back to the grudge. There's just nothing really, there's no crazy lore behind this. There's really nothing really to talk about. There's probably crazy lore behind the original. Look, yeah. But um, overall, it I just was just a good. I haven't looked into that. It was a decent horror movie. Um, it has some jump scares for you so you can get scared and. Yeah, people who like haunted houses and scare easily will like it, yeah. enjoy Yeah, I don't know why people do it, but if you're in the middle of nowhere driving down the road and all of a sudden somebody's just in the middle of the road, some creepy weird thing, why do you get out? Just keep fucking going. Like, yeah, you almost hit a person, but just get the hell out of there. Like, I'm sorry. The point is you didn't hit the person. Yeah, you didn't hit them, so you're good. If they were somebody who was trying to flag you down for help, they'd be flagging you down for help. You would have seen them before the two seconds before you hit them. So just keep driving. And like I said, I'm just, I'm not big into, like, horror series. Mm -hmm. I, I'm more into, like, the big story-driven ones. Yeah, fair enough. So, so that, right. made, I mean, that gave this one an edge. At least was story-driven, but mm -hmm. horror-wise, it was like, mm. Yeah. So yeah. we're just looking for a movie just to watch. It's a decent one to go see. Yeah. Looking forward to doing a movie every week uh, this year. That's our big goal. Hopefully we'll do it. We might not be able to, but we'll do the best we can. Next week's Underwater. Um, with Kristen Stewart in it, so really, ex I'm excited for that one because I like her. So uh, we'll see what happens with that. So until next time, may the films be with you.